Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently preparing to start my second year in electrical engineering, studying at university. And if you're following my channel, then you know that in my preparations, I've got, I've looked at the modules that I'm studying next year and then some of the things that I need to work on in preparation for that. So I'm due to start in about two weeks time now. I figured I'd go through one of the main modules that I studied last year, which was electronic and electrical principles one. So this is like the main principles module of the course so it's very very important that both i understand this and obviously yourself if you're studying electrical engineering then likewise that you understand this so i'm going to be revising basically what i was taught last year and i'm not going to take too long on it and i'm not really teaching it it's more revising so if you're going through this the first time it might not be ideal but what you can do is you could watch the videos and then pause it when you don't really understand something give it a google search as well so i'm going to go for exactly what i what i learned and let's just start by writing down some of the topics that we'll cover so we've got the the module is electronics and electrical principles one okay and so the topics that we're going to cover that i learned last year was obviously number one ohm's law number two we'll do the the basic circuit laws and if you don't know what these are then it's the kvl and KCL, which is Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law. So we'll cover that. Then we'll move on to nodal analysis. Then we'll move on to mesh analysis. Then after that, we'll go into superposition theory. What's actually interesting about the superposition theorem is that my lecturer, he actually said, this is gonna be the main one that we're gonna be covering next year and we're gonna be using it a lot. He actually said that electro engineer will probably use this throughout their whole career. So definitely one that I wanna brush up on. Then we're gonna be going over Thevenin's theorem and you can't do Thevenin's without doing Norton's theorem. Obviously they go hand in hand. And then we'll touch briefly on capacitors and inductors now i didn't really cover capacitors and, and inductors last year but i was kind of i remember the lecturer saying that he wanted us to go through it if we had time but i didn't have the time so i didn't do it so i'm, I'm just going to briefly touch on it and maybe teach myself a little bit about capacitors and inductors in preparation for the next year so these are what we're going to cover and so in the next video we'll jump straight into ohm's law which is like the fundamental basics of everything that you're going to do so you've got to get very very comfortable with ohm's law so if you're not comfortable with it join me in the next video cool all right guys see you in the next one